Hiya, this is Roz from Sunny Tenerife on day 19, talking from Mark 1453 to 1515. And they led Jesus to the high priest, and all the chief priests and elders and the scribes came together. And Peter had followed them at a distance, right into the courtyard of the high priest. And he was sitting with the guards and warming himself by the fire. Now the chief priests and the whole council were seeking testimony against Jesus to put him to death, but they found none. For they, for many bore false witness against him, but their testimony did not agree. And some stood up and bore false testimony against him, saying, We heard him say, I will destroy this temple that is made with hands, and in three days I will build another not made with hands. Yet even about this their testimony did not agree. And the high priest stood up in the midst, and he asked Jesus, Have you no answer to make? What is it that these men are testifying against you? But he remained silent and made no answer. Again the high priest asked him, Are you the Christ, the Son of the Blessed? And Jesus said, I am, and you will see the Son of Man seated at the right hand of power and coming with the clouds of heaven. And the high priest tore his garments and said, What further witnesses do we need? You have heard his blasphemy. What is your decision? And they all condemned him as deserving death. And some began to spit on him and to cover his face and to strike him, saying to him, Prophesy! And the guards received him with blows. And as Peter was below in the courtyard, one of the servant girls of the high priest came and seeing Peter warming himself, she looked at him and said, You also were with the Nazarene Jesus. But he denied it, saying, I neither know nor understand what you mean. And he went out into the gateway and the rooster crowed. And the servant girl saw him and a began again to say to the bystanders, this man was also one of them. But again, he denied it. And after a little while, the bystanders again said to Peter, certainly you are one of them, for you are a Galilean. But he began to curse, <laughs> invoke a curse on himself and to swear, I do not know this man of whom you speak. And immediately the rooster crowed a second time. And Peter remembered how Jesus had said to him, Before the rooster crows twice, you will deny me three times. And he broke down and wept. And as soon as it was morning, the chief priests held a consultation with the elders and scribes and the whole council. And they bound Jesus and led him away and delivered him over to Pilate. And Pilate asked him, Are you the king of the Jews? And he answered him, You have said so. And the chief priests accused him of many things. And Pilate again asked him, Have you no answer to make? See how many charges they bring against you. But Jesus made no further answer, so that Pilate was amazed. Now at the feast, he used to release for them one prisoner for whom they asked. And among the rebels in prison who had committed murder in the insurrection, there was a man called Barabbas. And the crowd came up and began to ask Pilate to do as he usually did for them. And he answered them again, saying, Do you want me to release for you the king of the Jews? For he perceived that it was out of envy that the chief priests had delivered him up. But the chief priests stirred up the crowd to have him release for them Barabbas instead. And Pilate said again to them, Then what shall I do with the man you call the king of the Jews? And they cried out again, Crucify him! And Pilate said to them, Why? What evil has he done? But they shouted all the more, Crucify him!
So Pilate, wishing to satisfy the crowd, released for them Barabbas, and having scourged Jesus, he delivered him to be crucified. So what is the word saying to us today? For me, this is a battle against good and evil. In Leviticus 21.10, it says, when the high priest Caiaphas tore his robe, he was disqualified from his office. And it was like Jesus, our true high priest, was taking his righteous place. The second thing, are we denying Jesus in any way? Maybe we need to repent today and receive his forgiveness and start again. The third thing I thought of, who are we listening to? Whose voices are we following the crowd and taking the wrong route? Maybe we need to think clearly about that. And fourthly, in these difficult times, we need to choose life and follow Jesus wholeheartedly. Amen. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for today. We thank you for the, what the Word has spoken to us in our hearts. And we will take action on it. Forgive us our sins as we forgive others their sins against us. And Father, we just recommit our lives to you today. In Jesus' precious name, amen.